Hey guys, Addison Rouse here at Salem University Head Baseball Coach. Uh, I am with Figured Out Baseball, and we're going to take you through our daily outfield progressions. Got two of my guys here, uh, sit, both center fielders, Noah Suarez Sr. and Tyler D'Alessandro Jr. Um, they're going to walk you through our, our whole progression. Our first progression is our spoke drill. Exactly what it sounds, just like a spoke on a bicycle tire. So it's, it's a basic drill for footwork fundamentals as well as to get our, our, ourselves ready to actually go catch fly balls. It's much bigger than just going hitting some fungos and catching a fly ball. We have a whole progression here at Sam that we work through for our outfielder. Our first thing on the spoke, we're gonna go side, we're gonna go to our right side, okay, or their, their left side, their glove side, okay, on you guys. So they're gonna take two hard steps. You notice how with them, they are leading with their glove foot. We do not teach a crossover step. We wanna be in a good, fielding position on the balls of our feet where we are explosive in our first step and gaining as much ground as possible. Do that one more time, guys. Perfect. Perfect. You'll see them exaggerate that. They'll come back to their starting point, and now they're going to go to their throwing hand side. They're going through their spoke drill. Okay, I'm going to point to them. They're going to be on their own tempo. I am going to point, and that's the direction where they're going to take their first most important step. This way, fellas. Perfect. Now we've gone side to side. Our next variance in the progression now is we're going to work on our drop step to our glove side. You're going to hear me say step. I'm going to check footwork and then go, and then they're going to take two explosive steps. The most important thing in outfield play, guys, is our first initial step. We have to have great hips. We have to have great first steps, and we got to have a really good break out of all that. So we, we break that down from a very simple fundamental standpoint in our spoke drill before we actually put it together when, when we're hitting fungos we're doing our full drop steps where I'm throwing and we'll get to that later. Go. Drop step, step, go. Perfect. See our footwork's perfect. I know it's fast right now. You guys will notice that their hips are open. They are pointed in the direction that they want to go. Okay. You can never never be too open. That is that is that is you can never be too open. You don't want to be closed off because then you'll hear the term and you'll see me do it then you'll hear the term fighting the baseball and that's where the ball is going to be caught over your head or behind you and now you're in a mess you want to keep the baseball in front of you and in order to keep the baseball in front of you and take a drop step is to open the hips up okay now you're going to go to your throwing side watch these guys step go perfect see that's a diagonal angle but as you see both of them are, are exaggerated with how they're open okay because they're both really good outfielders and they can keep the baseball in front of them rather than have it get caught over their head where they're fighting it like I just referenced. Now we're going over the shoulder, fellas. Over the shoulder, we are always stepping with our glove side and it is a, a, and we're gonna be a very, very exaggerated in how we're gonna open our, our, our front foot. Ready, step. See how they're open. You guys see how they, they've cleared their hips right there. Go, they're breaking right out of it. Two hard steps and they're gonna come back and reset. And then we have three other segments on, the, on this variant. Okay, you guys are going glove side in front and then throwing side, throwing side in front. Okay, on me, ready? This way, go. Good, right there, step, first step. You see where Noah and both Tyler led with their front foot, okay? It is not a staggered where we're right. We're gonna lead, where, where we wanna go is we're gonna lead there. Okay, if you guys watch a really good base stealer in Ricky Henderson, Ricky Henderson did not do a crossover step. Ricky Henderson's a Hall of Famer, and Ricky Henderson was explosive in his first step. We're going to do the same thing here at Salem. We don't need to have a staggered step or a false step and create too much time. We want to have an amazing first step, so we're right out of the gate, right back. Now you guys are going to go to your glove side, or your throwing hand side, excuse me. Ready? Go! Right there. See a great step right there. And now they're going to go straight forward, and that is whatever foot you guys are most comfortable. So you can lead when you're going straight in, you can lead with whatever foot you're most comfortable with. Ready? Go! Perfect. No false steps, you guys. Notice that there was no false steps. The, mo the, the, the One of our, our biggest handcuffs as an outfielder is when your feet and you false step and you don't know which one you're going to lead with. You have to be, you have to be focused, you have to be watching the, the ball off the bat, and you have to take a really, really good first step and, and, and be explosive with that step rather than false step because that's going to be the difference between a diving play or a, or a non-diving play where you can make a play on it versus a blooper falling in. False step is where we're going to, we want to step in front and we step behind and then we go forward, okay? We're on a, uh, uh, when, we're, when we're going to open the hips on a drop step, a false step would look like this. So you're going to hear and then you're going to go. So you noticed how on both of those I went behind 
to go forward, which took too much time, and then I went in front to go backwards, which took too much time. And we'll go through this spoke drill with no ball. It is just a footwork progression to start our outfield drills off for the day. That was our spoke drill progression. We utilize no baseballs with that. That is all about footwork. Okay, that's the very first thing we do in our outfield before we start our daily individual work. Now we're gonna transition into our drill progression. This is gonna be drop steps with the baseball next.